Massive AoE damage against Chaos Knight Illusions, which is nice. The Sanity's Eclipse has deals a lot of damage. Like, he'll do it to save himself, but bottom lane... They are actually going to be able to pick up the first blood on Whisper. This is uh, Grimstroke Darkseer is what I thought the lane was going to be. I was I mean, like, that sounds again. terrible, They're too. just going to keep doing this. And uh, they're going to keep him at level 1. They're going to stun him up, and he's just going to die again. You can't even really cut... Yeah, he's going to go on Kumin. Well, right they do have the Invis Rune on Jericho, so that will be a surprise kill on Kumin, and that will be the first kill for Ambergate. He's barely able to get out of range, and there's no search for another three seconds. He's going to try and do the damage off of the Fatal Bonds. The Fatal Bonds is actually going to wear out, so Whisper's unable to get that kill. Oh, unless he goes for the in. surge, turn around on him, no fear. They're going to fight it out, and Whisper barely gets the kill. Boy, well, is it as uh, this lane. They're gonna battle out once again. They are gonna move their Grimstroke down here, but Whisper's in serious trouble. He's gonna get the Surge off. The Cold Feet doesn't actually proc, and the last hit isn't enough either. And look at that, the Inkswell goes off. He's stopping the charge for a moment. <laughs> oh, the one hit from the tower. Laner's okay. Like, to just straight up battle like this, then you feel really comfortable going for this. Yeah. And if they get uh, an opportune bash, K1, he's very low, and is gonna have to try and dip into the trees somehow. I think he knows he can't really survive. Gonna go off the top lane as we uh, gonna try and catch Nongrata here. We'll be able to kill him, it looks like. So he should slowly tick out. He was under the tower <laughs> the, the entire yeah. time. So it didn't exactly have the intended effect. Is there actually gonna have the chain stun here? They didn't even need the cold feet to proc, honestly. Now the stun onto Whisper as well. Silent has a Wraith Fire Blast in one second. Three minute cooldown. Just die. It's fine. It's mm -hmm. not a big deal. As they're making the move on a Stinger. They're still charging him out. I, I thought they were going to give up on that chase eventually, but Stinger should be dying here as the Imprisonment will finish him off. Two. Oh, no. Got to grab it fast, though. Chris is here. Charge in four seconds time. Chris is just going to try and run him down here. Does manage to hit the split or stun. That'll be enough. Just get out. It would be fantastic. Non Grata uses the Burrow Strike to get that extra distance, and the Inkswell goes off. He's not able to get the Sandstorm in time. And it just gets harder and harder to take that tower, but they might find an easy setup. Cold Ice Blast, there's going to be the Golem out, but Chaos Knight is definitely going to drop here. He's already taken too much damage, and a nice two-man Burrow Strike out from Non Grata. It's going to set up more kills. It looks like the Ancient Apparition and the Wraith King are both going to die here as Chris Luck comes in from the side, able to run down uh, Lil as well, gets him. Burrow Struck up, though, and he's going to probably lose his life to Kumin, who just uses that stun time. To that's where his Helmet Dominator makes it easy. Oh, nice Ice Blast set up. That's going to be a great kill on Grimstroke on the, the panel that you just brought up as well about him building sustain items. Ice Blast being such a good counter to that. But here, in this attempt at a kill without the Ice Blast available, they fail pretty miserably. Oh, now die getting fast. soul bound together with the Golem on top of them. The Ice Blast finally comes in. Kind of moving though. Nongrata does actually take out and win. Golem now looks like they're going to get Stinger as well. The TP coming in for the Chaos Knight immediately. Windstrike want to back away. They do not want to fight into this Chaos Knight if possible. He's just been allowed to free farm a little bit stout. He went for a 1 4 2 build. Charging in mid lane. They have the Yule Scepter set up on Akuman. Managed to get that stun. Now they'll oh, pull him into him. the silence as well, not allowing him to get off the imprisonment. Take the tower, kill. I oh, can't win that. Oh, can they get a chain stun nicely on Chaos Knight with the Ice Blast as well as the Epicenter? So That's dead. enough magic damage. Now, maybe friend Chris Luck here might be able to run down one of these heroes, especially if it's non-Grana with the Sentry out the silence on him. The Inkswell does manage to hit that stun, but Last is actually really very low. low. He what? took too much damage from the Sandstorm, didn't realize it. Surge oh. away, he didn't Burrow Strike him? Are you serious? That you was just so take greedy. the free kill. Come on, man. Wind Strike. Ice Spots actually hitting the Chaos Knight as it passed on through, but the Phantasm, they're trying to play up with Sandy to Glitz, almost getting him. The Sandstorm doing a lot of damage to Kumin, but do manage to finish off that Warlock. A nice Soulbind catching the charging in Spirit Breaker, who tries to go for his ultimate multiple times, does manage to get it off once, releasing that. They keep using these big ultis themselves, and the team, they're the team that should be pushing, and they're not really. Oh, the Inkswell doesn't actually hit him. This Bulldoze is actually doing so much work for Lil as he oh. charges through all of them. Now, No Fear actually got a little bit too close, but he wants to fight. They nice do manage to get wall. the vacuum wall. That's a good combo, but K1's so low, and he doesn't have the Phantasm to be able to disjoint any of this damage, and that's where Kumin, he spies it, is able to go for the Chaos Knight, force taps himself immediately forward to catch plus one. Chris Luck, this time, he will get smoke up behind him. All of Ambergates is on the way, and they've actually found the initiation onto the Grimstroke first. They throw out the goal to be able to stun onto 
2. The Ice Blast is on its way. That's going to wipe out Jericho, but he does manage to get the Soul Blind onto 2, where Chris Loke is going to try real hard to finish up these heroes. Fortunately, that is going to wear out eventually. Lil's able to get away. He bounces into Chris Luck, trying to finish him off, but too much magic damage. He's tried to run down the Ancient Apparition next, pulling back in non Grata as well. K1 almost getting him, getting away from the Sandstorm. Couldn't get away from Silent, though, as Silent now stunning up Dark Sears. Oh, oh. oh, okay, they find the initiation. Nice force that forward on a Jericho, just putting him in a terrible position. He's immediately going to go down. Now, K1 is going to be able to kill Kuman in result. Oh, that's a nice vacuum back into the wall as well. Kuman with his BKB being chased down by He's all this physical low. damage with the surge on the K. Chaos Knight just run down that OD, finish him off. A really great fight for Somehow, they're going to lose this Aegis immediately. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, the that's Vacuum the combo. Golem! That's a combo right there. Soul Bite. Immediately, the Ancient Apparition dies and buys back. They're going to lose their first life for the Wraith King as well. He might just die as well. K1 is just barreling into the base with his Aegis. Finally, he does die. The rest of his team, though, they can't follow him that deep. Uh, K1. You went too far, you went too deep, you Duh. flew too close to the sun! I told you, man. I just, I just knew. Uh, 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 They're all gonna die. They're all gonna die because of that. He literally, it's like he lost control of his hero. He got power mad. All right, now they're going. Okay. The Golem is going to get dropped. That's going to interrupt that combination. Allows them uh, with the less rank to be able to get off the BKB. And he's going to go for the kill. On to Lil. Lil is very dead. The rest of his team. We'll get a full retreat. Let's vacuum, 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 vacuum. Got him. Kuman pulled back. He got greedy. He didn't pop his BKP. He just thought he could teleport away. Oh, now he's going to turn and fight. He drops out the Insanity's Eclipse. Not enough to finish off one. We'll be able to finish off the Warlock at least. He tried to go for two. That's a good situation oh, set up for Wind Strike. They can't. Let's see. Oh, good stinger. Glimmer Cape. Immediate response. Going to drop the goal with the vacuum. Man, the wall. Comboed into two. The Soul Bite out as well. Kuman is laying damage into K1, but K1 got off his BKB. And now he's turning physical damage into Kuman. Kuman's going to go for Stinger instead, who tried to get a position for upheaval to slow down these heroes. K1 not focusing on Kuman at all. Is going to get away from the OD, who still has that Aegis. And a lot of Sanity's Eclipse damage built up. Doesn't actually have the Sanity's Eclipse, but has a lot of Intelligence. Unfortunately, he's all by himself. Oh, he now. misses the stun. He missed the stun. That's oh, gonna no. be a, an opportunity. Okay? Fortunately, he's silenced though. Okay, okay. That he's silenced. Been... Ten seconds still Fanta. Okay. Oh, he's just going in. I thought he was gonna cancel it. Lil. There's two heroes dead on the he side. He just keeps of, on uh, going. And Vergesa. And they're gonna use the buyback on Chris Luck. They have five seconds. Dark's here. He's gonna be able to TP it to Chris! He Chris. just went in like that, the Soul Bind on the two. He's gonna be able to get the Self Fuel Scepter. He's only got 200 HP. BKB going out, Silent couldn't get off a one hit, but he, it's gonna be Kuman who managed to finish him off. Still though, Kuman needs to be able to get away. Another Glimmer Cape, gonna be able to buy him some time here. Managed to get the stun, the imprisonment onto the real CK, bringing everybody in. Golem up in four seconds time. K1 trying to lay that damage into Kuman as best as possible. Gets bashed up, a follow-up stun. Ray Fire Blast, they do have a uh, Blast coming in. That's gonna bring him quite low, especially the OD who's Silent on the side here. Jericho staying on top with the golems as well. Don't let him get away with the Glimmer uh, Cape. Imprison himself. Oh, is he going to get out? He's fine. Kuman survived through all of that. Rift. Chris Luck pops his BKB, forced to because of the initiation, but on the other side of things, Silent already makes his jump in on the Grimstro. K1, he's gonna pop his Phantasm here, but he's already taken so much AoE damage from Kuman. They're gonna come in with the Epicenter now, as the BKB's gonna fade away eventually from K1. They're gonna drop the Golem. Do manage to get a good Fatal Bonds with the Vacuum on top, but still, with all that Sanity's Eclipse, it is enough to wipe out the Chaos Knight and call it. And for Gesa, looks like they could not convince Windstrike to throw the game back to them one more time. And it will end. So, but it's like, I don't know. It just, it, I went into this game. Okay, let me just explain this very quick. Warlock Darkseer lane. But uh, I still don't oh, think. nice dodge. You really take advantage of Grimstroke. Dude, if Chris, Chris? Luck got bashed right here, he would just die. Yeah, yeah in fact, he's going to have to fairy fire. Oh, no, he gets bashed. Yeah, but like that was stroke. Now going to join this mid lane. Is they going to go for the kill onto Kumin? They've already burned through the refraction. He doesn't have another one. So Kumin is going to die. Attempted charge by Lil to be able to stop that kill. Not able to do so. But maybe he can kill Jericho and in return another fair fire. But a bash, not going to happen. Lil needs one more swing and is going to be able to get it before he dies. Chris Luck up into his tower. Well, they're going to go for mid lane again. Is this damage over time duo? Remember the term, the, the, the lawnmower? The uh, Ion Shell Ember Spirit. Well, this is very similar with Groomstroke giving you Inkswell onto the Ember Spirit. Who's going to fight this? Oh, but he gets bashed up. He doesn't have a bottle, but he chains and doesn't oh. actually get away from that final swing. He could have had that. 
Okay, well, at least Jericho picks up the key creeps as possible on his way out. Hopefully, waste some time. Goes for the Iron Shell. Of course, he's going to be chained right away. So there's a very small window of time where he's fast. And combo to work with the Juggernaut uh, early on in the laning phase. They're going to go for a dive here. Grim Stroke. Did he... Uh, did he take the bounties? I mean, he keeps on dodging and he keeps on slighted fisting every single time. The silence on the silent is enough to be able to get the kill and get the connection with the split earth. He's going to be able to run him down a little bit, but eventually that spin fails. And now with the slowdown out from the stroke of fate, land the stun as well. And that's going to be silent dead and a lot of damage. Trying to catch him. Does manage to hit him with that ink swell. Good charge in from Lil, though, and enough to finish off Jericho. That's a lot of stuns in a row. And after. Heroes like the Spirit Breaker and Darkseer, who's so reliant on their mobility, they are going to hate this early Rod of Atos pick. In fact, if he's they not didn't careful, the low ground. he may just uh, end up dying here. They do manage to get the kill on the Chen, but Whisper is a little bit low. Needs to be able to get away from these Ion Shells, get some distance. The charge up in four seconds from Lil. They just need to be able to keep the vision. But the Inkswell stunned up Lil. He has a charge coming in now. He will be able to get it. Whisper oh. dies. And can he actually get away as a result? Is K1, he's going to die as Lil gets his level six, gets the Nether Strike off to be able to finish off that hero. Now on the side, though, Jericho, he's in pretty deep, and it looks like there's no way out for him here. Is one more charge for Lil. And that's going to be a double. Out there with some supports behind him the entire time. Another charge in. Lil fully committing for this kill onto the Wraith King. They'll have it too with Silent showing up. He gave up and it against the last track any longer and joins in to kill the enemy carry. Just a little bit too greedy from K1 sticking around here is now Stinger going to go down and Whisper's got to be careful too. Oh, they just got a kill. They just got the 25 talent. That's just insane. Stun on the silence, chain stun with the silence as well, but unfortunately still not enough, especially with the chain heal giving him an extra bit of window. There is going to be Chris Luck coming in from the side with the golem being dropped. He's fully going to commit onto this kill, onto No Fear, but he's throwing all of his remnants away, and now maybe Non Grotto with the help of Lil can actually bring him down. A slight of is going to be able to buy him a lot of time, and he had a lot of magic wand stacks. So with the rest of Amber Gaze joining him here, oh, great hit for the uh. stroke of fate, but unfortunately it's not enough. He will continue charging through. The Ember Spirit is going to try and cut him off. Eat him with the Slight. Gets him with the Chains. Will be able to disable like the Rod of Atos. You can't oh. actually chain it very easily. Oh, that vacuum, though. I thought it hit him. That, and yeah, I, I was so dies because that of that. Hit. And Lil, he might be dead as well as he tries to go out and save the Templar Assassin. What a big play for Amber Gesa. And if they can also be to join the rest of his team and push a Tier 2. They don't have uh, the Ember Spirit around here, though. And Stinger has already used his Golem. So I'm not sure if this is a fight they can actually win, especially around a Shrine. A good soul bind, but it's not enough to be able to save Stinger. He's still going to be slowed down. Nongrad is right there to be able to find him. They just roll up with uh, Whisper doing so much damage. How did that Juggernaut die? He, uh, he, he, he got he silenced. Silent is... I mean, he's burned out most of the mana out from the Wraith King. If they can't actually kill him, oh, it'd be well worth block. it. Just go for it. Use the Omni Slash. Okay, the Golem's getting dropped. Now the Omni oh, Slash the goes, Omni and they actually oh, clip no. the creep, so he doesn't even kill a creep. He did nothing with that. Absolutely nothing. The Soulbind locking in these two. They're just getting a run down. Darkseer, as well as the Chen, going to die. They're going to clean up Juggernaut afterwards. Dude, silent. Dude, what was that? I don't know. One, three lanes. Yeah, they're, they're gonna pushing down. They don't apparently care that the golem's down. They're just gonna go for it with the BKB activated from Kumin, trying to kill Whisper, but he actually saves himself with the Glimmer Cape and the, uh, the Guardian Greaves. Now they turn, getting all that side blade damage onto the Ember Spirit. They can just keep locking him down, but he jumps over, managing to get the chain onto two, going for the Chen. Now trying to clean up Lil, jumps through and managing to get that kill as well. Whisper with all his magic damage running down Silent, who doesn't have the spin up for two seconds. That's TA everyone. eventually dies. Four dead on the side of Windstrike, and, and apparently Ember Gangster were very right. They don't need to call him. It's going to be tough ass silent. Really looking for that back line. Does manage to find him with the Ion Shell spin. Jericho trying to save himself with the Glimmer Cape. Does okay. What a vacuum. The Golem's going to be dropped. That's going to be able to buy him some time. The Soul Bind actually locking in Nagrata until the Spear Breaker dies, allowing Nagrata to be able to get away. Kumin still going for the back line, trying to get some of these supports with the Omni Slash. is totally neutered from Silent, does absolutely nothing. Kumin is gonna be caught here as he managed to finish up the Grimstroke, but they're just gonna call it. Kumin wants to GG out before he dies to Whisper. Cause he knows that this game is over and he may just indeed be till. Uh, and he has so many good steals going into yeah. Shadow Shaman. Going into, yo, he, Shadow Shaman one shots the Courier. They actually might be able to kill Kumin, what? Charge out with the Ion Shell, looking to do a bunch of damage to K1. Actually gets the Bash, so that will be a lot more damage. K1 is going to be, oh, it's going to be kill as that extra Bash right Sting our good shackles onto Lil. There's going to stun out from Silent, trying to get some distance for Lil to be able to get away. And it might just be enough until that last shot from Stinger comes out 
a second kill. Playing the Spirit Breaker, Lil gonna be playing the four Rubik. Telekinesis into the charge. No slight. Cause he saw one be placed and he should have seen that No Fear had another ward on him. No L missing. They're gonna be able to get the shackles after the charge. Really well timed by Stinger. And uh, well, they don't have another clap, but the damage He's over dead. time, it'll be enough. Teammates, what? And then it kind of clicked. Top lane, uh, K1 does not have his level six right now. That's why No Fear really wants to be able to get this kill. The TP is actually canceled because they know K1's dead. Warlock as well. Whisper does manage to get in front of Sven though. Very nicely timed, but now No Fear is here. Managed to get the charge on his Singer, slowing him down long enough for Silent to get one or two, two swings, but he gets a little bit too close to Whisper and also has the Fatal Bonds damage on him. He's bringing with Silent quite low. Will finally be, oh no, it was a neutral creep tonight. Nicely played by Silent. All that Fatal Bond damage, though, is bringing uh, no fear low enough that... King has no boots. Okay, they are going to catch him. Fortunately, Stinger will be able to get the Hex. Is going to be charged up, and now Chris Luck the three finally able done. to show up. Now, he doesn't have Searing Chains. He only has Remnant, so I don't think he can kill Silent. He's going to double uh, Remnant on top of him, try and get some more Flame Guard damage. He's but got this. One more Slide of Fist. That'll be enough. And they also got no... And uh, he wouldn't have been able to Ion Shell and, and Surge. He would have just immediately been Shackled or something. Uh, they try and go for it with no fear here. He pops the Bulldoze and is going to be enough to keep up with the Ember Spirit and get that Ion Shell damage. And now turns it on to Stinger as well. No fight. fear. He's saying, I'm willing to give up my life as long as they do as much damage as possible. He may not even die here as they've killed three. Might be able to get a fourth as Warlock's only one left. They do manage to finally bring down that tanky Spirit Breaker, ultra. but an ultra kill. Fight. All these towers to yeah. a lineup that has better late game than you. They do manage to get the golems, nice as trap. well as the surround, the Serpent Ward trap on a Silent. Now, Silent's super tanky because of the God Strength, the but a lot less when there's a Fatal Bonds and they're hitting these heroes with... Now, they're going to spot out Lil, Chris Luck, in around find that goes through the trees instead of left or right. We'll be able to catch one. Now, Silent, the Ruby's going to be found by the Ember Spear. The charge out from the Spirit Breaker is going to come right through. He's actually going to be hexed up, so they're going to give up on the kill on Rubik and instead have to just accept uh, No Fear's death instead. Two seconds for a charge. He has Spirit Vessel on him too, though. Flies it, they're like, well, we have split. Oh, fully committing here onto Kumin with the Spirit Vessel. He knows that's gonna make it difficult. Kumin does turn into an Ember Spirit, gets a Flame Guard out for himself, but they've controlled him up pretty decently. The Vacuum over the Waveform out. The Spirit, ah, he does manage to at least catch the Darks here, but God, it would have been so good for them if they had actually caught the Morphling. Not this. Trying a lot of heroes here coming in. Brewmaster from the side managed to get the Thunderclap nice on the Lil with the rock being dropped with the Fate of Bonds on all these heroes. They managed to get a really good vacuum wall, but again, they can't really fight. The Spirit Breaker getting the Nether Strike onto the Ember Spirit. The Ember Spirit is still able to get the chains on No Fear, though, running him down with the Brewmaster Ultimate. Whispers trying to get some of those supports in the back line, but Non Grata has already been surged up and it's running away. The Morphling should be okay. No, gets chained up. Maybe he's not going to be that okay. Has uh, the save from Warcry as well. Just respawn happens, the magic damage might Whoa. just burst him down. Lil really trying to take this fight, apparently, coming in from the side. Stole Rayfire Blast, going to try and turn it around. Good vacuum, pulling him away from Lil, but not enough to really get good. They did kind of stun onto the Ember Spirit, though. Slide of Fist does manage to buy him some time. Silent with his BKB, trying to chase down R Chris Luck, but he already has a remnant on the other side. Will be able to jump away, gets the chains. Not enough to save Stinger, though. He's just buying the Surge. K1, can you stun him? Not in time. Now he's going to get bashed up as well. Hold in place. Ember Spirit gets the Slide of Fist, jumping away. Don't get hit by the Storm Bolt. They both get hit, slow. but Chris Luck is still okay. Oh, they're slowed but the fight now upheaval slowed for so long sees jericho goes okay i should probably stun him but now he gets chained nice up chain. during the surge a vacuum on four once again but the chain stuns onto this fen a oh full 10 second bkb timing the ends in all just to try and do what they can to dissuade this one they Roshan? need to be able to the edges it's on the ground it's picked up by the ember spirit the full and commitment from the morphling is now he's in big time trouble as he's trying to be able to get out nongrod is dead he's been controlled up by the shackles from outside of the pit from stinger that'll make sure he goes down as well three dead from windstrike make it fours Lil's been caught in the back line from the Brewmaster Storm Panda throwing him. Oh, pretty dangerous. This is going to be Shrine. They're going to oh. fight over this one. The Shadow Shaman is going to get blown up almost immediately. They do manage to get a really good Fatal Bonds as well. Controlling up these heroes. Chris Luck just needs to be able to get away from Silent at this point. K1 needs to be careful with his HP because it's actually bringing Jericho low in the back lines where Silent is trying to run him down. He will be able to catch him with the Storm Hammer. Finish him off. The first life of the Wraith King is still available. He turns off his Radiance to try and hide. Disguise the fact that he's around here. Kuman doesn't spot him just yet, but it looks like they 
They spot him in the tree somewhere. Can he get any sort of stun? Kuman. No adaptive strike from him, but it looks like they do manage to get. Oh, they're gonna grab it. Chris, look, no, he's not gonna be able to get it. Silent gets the stun first. Now the telekinesis of the charge in as well. Singer's gonna try and disrupt as much as possible. They got the kill on a Chris Luck. Is he gonna buy back? He is, because they're already taking this fight. The primal split out. A ray fire blast on a Kuman in his Ember Spirit form. Is gonna be able to get slight. BKB DD on silent. They just want to be able to back away. They've blown so much for Amber Gaysa. If they could just get out, it'd be fantastic for the spirit vessel. No, the stun. Good for staff. That's gonna be able to save Chris Luck a lot of troubles. He gets down to the river and back in to be able to finish up the send with a slide of fist. He's gonna be okay. The charge out from No Fear does manage to get some control, but now he's being controlled by the Jackals. Kuman's just laying there with the fatal bonds on top of all these heroes stolen by Lil once again. Almost enough to be able to finish Chris Luck. Get some damage. Get it anywhere. Just throw some heroes at it. They almost finish up Chris Luck. He tries to run it away. He split for another five seconds. They're gonna throw the Wraith King forth. They do manage to get it backing back onto the Brewmaster. He's gotta back himself away until he has that primal split up on the side. They do manage to catch the Shadow Shaman. Kuman fully commits for that one. And now the jump forward from Silent. Trying to catch Chris Luck. Chris Luck going for the back lines. Does manage to finish up Lil, but he's now been chained up by Kuman, who's trying to get him with the adaptive strike with the charge in as well. The Glimmer Cave It's actually saved until the wave form finished him off. No fear. He now goes down. Now they have the Ray Fire Blast on to Nongrana, who has a surge coming up. He can surge, but he's just done too many times. Kuman is going to be left by himself for now, but there is going to be some buybacks. These Glimmer Capes. They're doing so much, but at the same time, the stolen spells from Lil is doing so much. They got the stun on the Kuman, managed to morph. Now turning back at the Ember Spirit, slide and fist on an AOE stun from Silent. Catches the two of them. K1, he does have his reincarnation, but he's alone. Nobody on Ember Gesa has buyback. He's just going to die twice here as Kuman turns into a Wraith King to make sure they stun him. They've got the Storm Hammer coming in, and unless he gets a really good crit, oh, didn't get quite enough. A secondary stun, and it looks like K1 is just going to be run down here. They've got the charge on him, so he can't even juke his way through the trees. Getting close to the tier three. If only there was somebody alive right now, they could bail him out, but not like hang out. Especially when you haven't taken tier threes yet. And okay, look at this, Shadow Blade trying to get into position. He's all by himself, and he could be losing this first life. Going to pop the BKB, but the God Strength, as well as the Nether Strike, going to be used to keep him in position. They're just really not doing that much. Stinger's just but dead on again. the side again, Stinger. He tries to scramble in to be able to save his Wraith King, but ends up out of position. As a result, it's going to be four versus four with the Reincarnation now down, pulling back in with the Vacuum, trying to get him pulled out of his base as best as possible. The Primal Split being used. Now the Glom also being popped there. Kuman going to jump in inside here, try and find that Warlock. Stop that he'll be heal as best as possible. But they do have the Fatal Bonds out, and that's doing enough damage to be able to finish off the Spirit Breaker. Now manage to control up the Wraith King to make sure the Sven doesn't take too much damage, but it'll get Lil pretty easily. BKB now turning. K1 needs 14 seconds for his reincarnation, so he needs to be able to disengage and then go back in when he sees the opportunity. And that's where his Ember Spirit is just controlling Silent, making sure he can escape, especially with the Spirit Vessel. Pull back in from the vacuum, gets Chris Luck killed. Kuman with his own slide is going to be able to do a lot, but he's got to be careful. He turns back into more form. It's going to be surged up, trying to get his chains. He's got a chains, but he's got very low HP. If they could just whip one more stun on him, he goes to the TP way, but Stinger does manage to get there in time with his blink, but maybe this risk they force is going to be back. worth the reward. They're going to go from the side, trying to go for the vacuum, but everyone's pretty well spread out. They're going to go for the Warlock. They charge in as best as possible, but the Ember's going to go for the back line as best as possible as well. Already, Kuman's already bought back. The Rock being dropped down. They all don't actually catch the Sven. Chris Luck's going to try and catch him in the back line. Managed to get the chase, but he's fighting and he's dying. Kuman managed to kill Chris Luck. He's going to back up. Meanwhile, you go over to the back line where uh, No Fear tried to go for the Shadow Shaman. Couldn't quite get him. Kuman tried to do the same. Now he's uh, his linkage pin popped, so he's forced to use his BKB because he's got to be afraid of Stinger and all his disables. The BKB is going to wear out Aegis, Cheese, and an Agonims is going to be available. And now the BKB activated by Stinger as he goes for the Shackles on a Silent. Kuman's going to try and bail him out just by beating down the Shadow Shaman as best as possible. Stops that big disabler. The uh, Sven thrown up in the air right now still has BKB with a vacuum going down. But now pops his God Strength. Who's he going to go for? He's going to go for Chris Luck. He managed to get him with the disable. That's going to be the Aegis turned around. That's going to be Darkseer dead as Key one marches forward. They really want to be able to take down Silent right now. K1 will be able to hit him oh, with a Ray Fire Blast. No is going to be able to get him. That. No, Kuman died. He managed to get the Ember. He's dead for two minutes. Silent's also going to be dying here in his second, but the Glimmer Cave is going to be able to buy him some dimes. Got the chains onto K1. K1 has a reincarnation, though, and he's so hard to fight right now. They cannot afford to really focus too much on him. Otherwise, he's going to get that AoE blast as well. Comes back but they in. are going to be able to commit. Silent going back in. He's got to be careful. Take out the Brewmaster first. That's what they decided finally is the No Fear gets a charge, but the Ghost after. Be quite the upset. Anvergesa, stun onto the Morphling. 
He's got to be careful. The to charge on through into the back line with a beautiful vacuum wall. What a with stun! Leave, silent! Ripping apart them. They do manage to get the BKB off of the Ember Spear, and he's going to be able to jump away to the side. Whisper gets off his primal split as well. Meanwhile, K1 tried to go for the back line. It does manage to get no fear as well as Lil. Buyback from Lil. K1, his first life goes down. Rate Fire Blast does go out, breaking away the Lincolns from Kuman, who's going to play as an Ember Spear right now, just trying to get this AoE damage. They're going to try and go for K1. They know he's only got 30 seconds for that reincarnation. The time is now to be able to take him out. Kuman committing more. Wayforming back and forth. He's trying to get away. He does manage to get out with the Silver Age. Now thinking of going back in, though. Rate Fire Blast. The golem's gonna be dropped. Golems, double golems, controlling up silent. He's now dead. Chris Luck, sleight of fist on the Kuman, who's stuck inside the Serpent Wards. Golems, is, he's hexed up as a chicken right now. He's every little bit. He's got no buyback. He's dead for that vacuum stun combo from the Sven. Oh, and he the was Darkseer. so sick. They're gonna pop the BKB on silent. He's gonna turn and fight as best as possible. They do manage to get one bash, follow up Abyssal Blade. Sven's in trouble, and Lil can do little to back him out into the fountain. I mean, he's all in at this dead. point. And GG, well played. The call from Captain No Fear. Windstrike, take.